Hello and welcome to another episode of Forza. Today we're going to be trying the super upgraded cannon. We're going to see if we can take one of our standard vanilla cannons and turn it into something that makes the Atom Cannon look like a weak little water gun. Let's see uh, just how far we can take this one. So for that we're going to need a ridiculous amount of economy. Probably, probably we'll want to do this on our... Um, a kind of a larger map where we can get, well, a ridiculous amount of economy and just maybe like battleships or something. Uh, I'll have to give that a thought. But for now, let's go ahead and work on our turbines because as we found pretty, pretty quickly here, um, we need more energy than we need most of anything else. Uh, so this is going to be, going to be an exciting one to say the least. I'll go ahead and work on these to put my mind down and then work on an upgrade center. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this down. There we go. Have someone sold up the front here, just redesigning the base. That's good for them. Good work. Good on you. You've done good things. Uh, let us see. Next upgrade center. Let's go at the upgrade center next. It's already been a minute into the game. Nothing terribly exciting has gone, has gone down. But I'm really looking forward to these cannons. Cause like, we 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 know regular vanilla cannons. They're they're quite powerful. There's no like, direct counter to them. There's no way to stop them. So when upgrading them to beyond destructive, I can only imagine just like no no way to actually stop the incoming pain. And when that incoming pain is like atom cannon levels of just ridiculous. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. We'll go ahead and start armoring up our base. As we know everyone's going for upgrade centers first. Yeah, you can already hear the upgrades coming out. And uh, because of that, we don't want to have our core vulnerable to an AP sniper. Lord knows, y'all love your AP snipers now. For no reason in particular. So we'll go ahead and do that. Once these upgrades come out, we're first going to start upgrading our wind turbines. Because we need them upgraded. Put those down. And then another wind turbine. And then the upgrades. Upgrades come flying through. Good. All right, we're good. Upgrade, and then upgrade, and you next. Just need a little bit more metal, and there it is. All right, goody. Next up on the upgrade list shall be selling off this guy. For sure. Need to just move him away from the front line so we don't have to deal with him being, well, there. And put this guy over there as well. Uh, do I, so I'll self deal with moving the battery later. Upgrade this guy, and then upgrading mines will be next. So you, and then you. But then we have those turbines upgraded because we're already running out of energy. And next. And then... Anything exciting coming out of them? Probably cannons coming out of them. Worth keeping an eye on. Need more energy. Give me that energy. I'm actually kind of concerned that we won't be able to fire the cannon after we hit a certain upgrade level. Because, well... Uh, every time you upgrade it, it costs more and more to fire, more and more to use and upgrade itself, and the amount of, well, costs inflicted upon our resources is a little bit much. Um, this is why I'm thinking that we're going to have to do a, a larger map where we can get, like, 40 mines in order to sustain the amount of income necessary for, oh jeez. That's already been upgraded a couple of times, so we're going to need energy shields. Uh, if you guys remember the last video we did, um... The slanted armor didn't do nearly as well as I would like it to have. And so I gotta keep that in mind. And just kinda go straight energy shields here. Uh, which also means that's gonna cut pretty heavily into our uh, production costs and economy. So we're gonna go ahead and move this over here, get him out the way, upgrade you to make up for it, and get a couple more of these going. Just to keep things stable, upgrade these guys a little bit. There we go, we good? We good. Alright, we need to armor all of this up. Make it all nice and dense and tight and put well put together and well organized. That should be decent protection against the miniguns. Miniguns not terribly accurate, so just... Oh, jeez. That's gonna be a super upgraded sniper as well. Um, I don't think they're gonna let me build a cannon here, honestly. Which is not, not ideal but not terribly surprising. So let's go ahead and build a little platform to put our own sniper. Because we're going to need to start counter-sniping them. Make them regret shooting at me with things. Go ahead and move this. Put sniper here. Put you here. 
Uh, we need to work on our technology as well. You can't build cannons if you don't have the cannon facility. Put this down. Very good. Put one of these here just to keep that appearances of having turbines there or something. I don't know. Put a second door to keep him safe against the AP sniper for the moment. Do this. And continue working on our own economy. Oh, the joy of working on our turbines first. We can actually upgrade these mines pretty quickly. Isn't that nice? Alright, now where did that sniper? Sniper came from up top, I believe. So having that sandbag there is a good thing. Uh, I'm just hearing more and more upgrades out of them. Which is extremely concerning. Oh dear, where's sniper come from? Coming from up top? Oh, no, right there. Goodbye. One less out of you. Oh, that minigun came from up top, though. It's right there? It was right there. That's where it was. So I'll keep the sniper pre-aimed there. I do need to work on more of these. Go ahead and do this. I need more turbines. Oh, yep. Yeah, I didn't, didn't hop on that fast enough. Upgrade this guy now. Then upgrade this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gimme, 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 gimme. We don't have enough energy as what's going on here. Go ahead, do it. Do it? Nope. No, not gonna do it? Okay. Let's start getting our cannon production facility. Come on. Energy. What was that? Was that a shotgun? That was a shotgun! Okay. In that case, let me do this. Oh, it's bottom now. Bottom's the one doing the shenanigans. Oh, but he, his wasn't upgraded, so I don't have to worry too much about that. I just want Top to open his door. That way I could blow him out of the sky. And the air. And everywhere else. We're gonna need these two. Need to start putting doors on this guy. While we wait. Get some more armor going around here. Come on. Much better. So I'm not planning on upgrading the sniper because we, we don't need him upgraded. He is not the star of today's show. Yes. Oh jeez. Just barely didn't make it. Uh, but that is, that is an upgraded minigunner over there, so I need to make him go away. That's for sure. And much better. Bring that up to par. Let's see. Nice and stable base. I'm going to go ahead and put some rope back here. Not that we really need it, but I just kind of want the rope to be here makes me feel safe. Which is not usually how games work, but eh. More door. Put you here. I like to always have my armor a little bit slanted. Just to give it that chance of deflecting something. Oh wow, okay. Good thing we slanted that armor, because that was an extremely upgraded shotgun. Alright. Cannon time. You need to go here. Activate commander ability for build speed. I need someone to open their doors. That way I can snipe them. Come on. You can do it. I accidentally deleted his minigunner. Oh, well, rip him and all of his opportunities. Let's go ahead and upgrade these while we wait. On this as well. And some of these guys. And some of those guys. Go on, shotgun boy. Come on. Hmm, not enough. Oh, well. I tried. I can only do so much. We just need this guy to finish building. It takes so long. But hey, at least we've got all the economy in the world. Alright. Just put some more doors here and here. Jeez. Just blowing up all of my sandbags. What's going on here? Good thing they're practically free. Uh, down to 9 in energy per second. That's not ideal. Ooh, that went deep. That's where I want it to be, right there. We get some more upgrades on these guys. You, you, and you. The moment I look away, you open your door with that super upgraded shotgun. Oh, oh, he changed the position of things. Okay, that's not ideal. Uh, there was a shotgun there. There's now a gunner. Rippy dippy. Turns out there's a, uh, yeah. One of those energy shield things. Alright, so we start upgrading this guy. You go hotkey 3. 
I see something exposed at the top there. I'm gonna snipe it. Got it! I think that was a super upgraded shotgun, which is kind of saddening for him. Like, really saddening for him. We've got so many energy shields now. Uh, so much floating away, too. I'm gonna put another... I, I'm gonna... I kind of want to double layer these energy shields just to protect some of my investment here. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Sell this off, put a second energy shield around. Upgrade you. You're gonna get real expensive real quick. I don't think I've ever seen so many energy shields in one of my own bases. It's kind of a lot. But we did take out their, one of their super super shotguns, so I'm, I'm happy with this. Alright, you go there, you go there. You need to be opened, at least have the ability to be opened. Oh, jeez. I wasn't even the one who suffered in that. It was my teammate. He'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Upgrade this and this. Upgrade some more of this, this. Oh, uh, what was that? He's going to the upgraded sniper route, too. Okay, gotta be careful with that. Uh, where did that come from, is my question. Got him. Take him off. He was already green, so we know that he's going to be pretty powerful. Activate the commander ability for bonus upgrade speed. We're up to 126 metal per second. When this cannon comes out, it is going to be absolutely brutal. And that's just the way I want to see it. Did you rebuild the minigun in the same spot? I don't think so. Because that door wasn't fully closed. But then again, I didn't hit the dead center of the door, so maybe it was. Maybe it was in the same spot. I uh, definitely need some more batteries. Uh, I'm kind of upgrading that same one. I don't know if that's the better idea. Let's go ahead and get a, another battery here. Lord knows I always end up with bases that have massive chain reaction want of just waiting to happen with these battery arrays. <sighs> Alright, so I want to fire him now or wait a little while? Because I could just keep waiting. Is, it, is, is Sniper I'm doing good work with them? And keeping all their stuff down. Okay, that's a serious that's a serious laser just burning all the way through that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep armoring up a little bit because I can, and I'm waiting more on energy than anything else. Where did that come from? Why am I not seeing it? <gasps> I might be able to get the reflect. Oh, he's right there. Right there is where it was. So I'll, I'll keep I'll keep that sniper lined up right there so I can quick snipe whenever things get a little bit closer. I need to upgrade that again. We're going just pretty deep on these upgrades. I don't think I've ever gone this deep on upgrades like this. Uh, it's definitely not worth it, for sure. How much do you cost to upgrade? Oh my god. Is the answer to that question. Look at this. 1,000... Okay. Oh, jeez! Well, that's one super laser. Alright, in that case, let's go ahead and open fire with our own cannon. Remember, these got pretty straight, so we could just kinda... Oh, not quite that straight, but look! We missed, and it did a lot. Okay, one more upgrade. How much do you cost to fire now? 9,000 energy to fire. And get one more up? No. No, 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 we're just gonna fire him right out the gate. Let's go! No! Please! Oh my god! Please, he has energy shields. You know he has energy shields. Ah, uh, I almost lost, almost lost my cannon to my own, own teammate. Okay. Could have gone very wrong. That's a good way to put it. All right. All right. Let's let's just get this going. Get you repairing. All right. All right, dude. Seriously, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to not. Please. Uh, it's just like the only reason I'm alive right now is because I covered myself with so many energy shields. Okay. Let's go ahead and fire this straight up into his background bracing there. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that just kind of did that. We'll give him one more upgrade. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. You nailed that. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful combo, not gonna lie. That that made me happy. And 
and we're off to round two. This time I have the top position, but we will be doing the same thing. The same tactic, the same super cannon. And this time I think we should open up fire a little bit earlier. I'm not going to go with a full turtle because uh, as fun as it was, um, it kind of... Kind of needed to fire a few more rounds to feel the full effect. Uh, we we last round was actually really nice. The teammate uh, managed to make that beautiful uh, laser shot. Speaking of which, turn that on, let everyone see. Uh, so it, it was very nice. Uh, we kind of destroyed pretty much all the armor in the front. And the teammate came through and sliced the base just in half. Uh, luckily, uh, so I was very I was just more excited about not having my base just obliterated by my own friend's laser. So. I'm happy with the way that wins, but this time we're going to be opening fire much earlier on with the cannons, and instead of using Snipey to defend us, which, Snipey did an excellent job, by the way, like, yes, please, like, Snipey literally saved us on so many times, but this time we'll be, we'll be replacing Snipey with the cannon, uh, after getting a, uh, uh, just going a little bit crazy with our economy first, just, 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 just a little bit. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put down our upgrade center here, and start these upgrades rolling. Come on, come on. Come on, need more resources, come on. Yes! There we go, okay, much better. Looks like everyone else is going the same route. I'm kind of concerned what he's going for. He only has three mines right now. So I have to have to think about that. Maybe he's going for a rush, but we'll, I'm sure we'll figure that out pretty quickly here. I need more turbines, what I need. Lord knows, we need so much energy. Like without having overdrive, like this, this strategy is just not viable. It's just not something you can do. There's just so much economy needed. It's ridiculous. And the upgrade times tacked onto it, it's just like, oh my god, it doesn't stop. I suppose that is kind of the point. So let's see. Cover these guys up. Keep them all safe. We don't need any naked turbines around here. There we go. I'll put the sandbags down there in a moment. Back to it right now while we wait. I'm gonna get this guy going and work our way up to additional turbines. One more turbine and then upgrades. Oh sweet, look at that percentage. It's so beautiful. So almost, almost perfect. Get these upgrades rolling. It's like the opponents are slowly adding on their mines. They keep that in mind. Then upgrade more. I need to upgrade these more. Come on, there we go. Right, so let's go ahead and build a couple batteries back here. Definitely want to have more storage for energy. Come on. Do you want to move this one? Move this guy all the way back here. Uh, do I want to go with four batteries? I don't know. But we'll, uh, I'll make the decision when we get when, when the time comes. And for now, we just need just that one so that we can get the Munitions plans. Nothing exciting coming out of them just yet. Just looks like they're focusing on economy. Like he's just building around, getting more space for things. This is fine. We shall survive. Put our munitions plant right next to our core because munitions plant explode. And I love having explosives next to my core, just like I do every every other match. I gotta stop doing that. It's a, it's an actual problem. Yet I continue doing it in every single time. Need another turbine. Get one more turbine, upgrade it, and then I'll uh, jump onto the upgrading mines. Cause that's that's where all of our energy goes every single time, without fail. Let's go ahead and increase this a little bit, just an extra layer. Okay, upgrade you, and then we'll go hop on the upgrading mines train. For once, metal is the limiting factor. And this is fine, because metal is generated pretty quickly when we have upgraded mines like this. Go ahead and double brace all of this, or cross brace it. And double brace down here. Expand this a little bit. Keep this up to uh, up to building standards. Give the connections we so necessarily desire. 
Much better. Double brace all of this. And cannon time. Boom. Now if this cannon goes, it's gonna go with our core. But that's fine because we're going all in in this cannon. No one's stopping us now. Right, so I definitely need an energy shield up here by now. Should have had it down probably right before the cannon. Because of that reason right there. If he had gone to my turbines, that'd have been real sad. But uh, yeah, that's that's why you generally repair yourself. Do it. Thank you. Make me have to, make me panic. All right, a little bit more wooden layers. Um, that's probably going to be a super upgraded laser, so layers are not going to defend us for very long. But I want to have a few just to keep us safe. Uh, but if layers aren't going to be defending us, I need to work on additional turbines, and then sooner than later, additional energy shields, layering the entirety of our. All right. Um, I kind of want to start working on that sooner than later, like right now. Let's go ahead and do this. Where do I want to put a button right here? Work away from the bottom. Bottom to the top. Get another door here because we have the metal for it. Very good. And then, actually, I'm going to do another round of upgrades on the mines. Here comes that laser again. Wait, that's not a laser. Those are rockets! Oh god, no. Uh, gunners. I need you. Can I build this here? I can. Getting pretty close to my teammate's base. If I get it pretty much any further, then he won't be able to build, and well, I already can't build further. So, that's not ideal. Connect this here, and connect you. Can I connect you here? Cannot. Let's just connect this right here. Try to keep the base from rotating a little bit. Alright, upgrade this. Did we finish upgrading these mines? It did not. What did just the upgrade on you? You two need to be upgraded. Oh, that would right through my teammate's base. Alright, we need to start opening fire here. We need to open fire pretty quickly. Just fire this right across here. Oh, that was fast. That's what I call a nice shot, right across the top. Start opening the destruction. I like these cannons, you just kind of upgrade them and fire them and upgrade them and fire them and we need more energy shields. Actually, who had the energy shields? I think it was bottom base, wasn't it? So I don't think, I, no, he had the rockets, so I don't probably don't need these anymore. I'm gonna shut these down. And if I suddenly die because of it, uh, I will understand the risk involved. Fire that across. Very good. Upgrade this. Need to upgrade this. Need to actually get some more metal storage because I'm gonna start peeking on my metal needs. Sell this guy off just so I don't have expensive things near the front. Keep those guys upgraded. Shut this guy down. I kind of like the idea of having the energy shield there. Even if it's shut down, we'll fire the same spot. It looks like he didn't repair enough. Yep. Didn't quite repair enough, so that's gonna cost him. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade some more things. Use this guy to take out that flak so that the flak doesn't take out my gunners. Oh no. Just as I was saying. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Fire a cannon again. Same spot. Let's hit him in the same spot. Oh no, the same spot kind of changed. Take the flak out. Do it. Gunners, do it. You're so inaccurate. This is what snipers are for. Alright, upgrade you again. I'll build a sniper right up here because I'm tired of gunners not doing their jobs. Actually, they're doing quite fine. It's just kind of... Kind of really want them to do more than quite fine. I want them to snipe everything. That's not their job. We'll go ahead and fire this again. Uh, same kind of position, same position. Yep. Yep. There goes all of his hopes and dreams. So now we have a sniper. Let's go ahead and use Snipey to blow that up. Very good, Snipey. Thank you. You do have done excellent work once again. Put another door on you, upgrade you again. You do what? Let's do another round of upgrades on these mines. These are getting pretty expensive. Let's get it, honestly, at this point, doing upgrades on these mines just means it's gonna take another like five real time minutes before these guys go net positive. Which is, I'm not sure the game's gonna last that long. How much do you cost to fire? Only 6,000 to fire. Minigunner costs more than that, so we're good. 
in any, but I do want to upgrade these anyways because I don't like waiting to fire my weapons. Actually, some not all these are upgraded the same. You are that much. 138. Oh, what? What? No! I didn't catch him, but it looks like he's sold up. He gave off in fear of the super upgraded cannon. But for now, have a good one, everyone. And I'll see you guys later.